Oh, it's you, cutie. To what do I owe the honor of your visit? Are you here to peruse the library? Or perhaps you're here to visit a certain someone? <laughs> as considerate as ever, I see. Alas, what rot... Oh, it's you, cutie. To what do I owe the honor of your visit? Are you here to peruse the library? Or perhaps you're here to visit a certain someone? <laughs> as considerate as ever, I see. Alas, what rotten luck. You just so happen to have caught me in the middle of some important work. I'll have to treat you to afternoon tea some other time. Wait, you're actually busy? With work? That's not a sight you see every day. <laughs> You're right. The last time I was this consumed with research must have been way back at the academia. I haven't done this much thinking for a long time. It's rather exhausting. <laughs> if you're that interested, why don't you join in on the fun? What do you say? Want to help me relive my days as a scholar? It's not polite to pawn off your work on other people, you know. Is that a no, then? It will be quite the rare opportunity to work together, and you would, of course, be generously rewarded. But if you don't want to... As you probably know, the Knights of Favonius have long conducted research on alchemy. But most of that research has been carried out in a laboratory setting. The public's knowledge of alchemy is quite minimal. Which means that up to this point, most of our research and discoveries have remained quite distant from people's daily lives. We've put a lot of mora into the research, but have very little to show for our efforts. Noting this disconnect, Jean decided to start an initiative where we'd share the fruits of our labor with the people. For now, that means introducing them to several different kinds of alchemical potions. As it happens, I already have some experience with this work. Even though I usually work at the library, I have lent my support in the past to the management of the Knight's Potion Supply. Potioneering was also one of my academic specializations back in the day, so Jean thought I was the best person for the job. But to create potions practical enough to support the daily needs of the people, a lot of adjustments had to be made to the ingredients we use, and the overall alchemical process also needed to be simplified. All in all, what started as a relatively simple research project soon evolved into something exceedingly complicated. So, are you asking us to help you with your research? Cause, uh, you're not exactly talking to two alchemy experts over here. <laughs> no worries. I've already thought of the perfect job for you two. Alchemical practices are becoming more and more advanced, but there's still a disconnect between our research and the general public. What we really need is to collect feedback from the people. Otherwise, we won't truly know if we're satisfying their needs. But if we want to conduct research and collect feedback at the same time, we need to go about things in a more efficient way. So, I thought the best way to do that would be to open up a potion shop. That way, we could continue to handle the alchemy side of things while also being able to interface with the public and understand their needs. Oh, it's like killing two pigeons with one stone! Smart idea, Lisa! Well, of course. And who better to take on this job than one of the most accomplished among our ranks, the Traveler. When I was at the Academia, students would often help out with each other's research projects. I'm sure my cuties wouldn't want to miss out on the opportunity to experience that sort of youthful enthusiasm for themselves. Yeah, you make it sound nice and all, but Paimon still thinks you're just looking for a way to pawn off your work. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. When all our work is done, I will personally see to it that you're generously rewarded. All of the initial preparations have been made, so let's head to the shop. We'll finish our discussion after we get there. Ah, 
This is the shop. Wow, looks like you've made a lot of preparations already. Did you do this all by yourself? <laughs> it was a group effort. A whole bunch of knights helped out. Jean secured the initial funds to open the shop. Albedo and Sucrose provided the ingredients and equipment needed to brew the potions. And the logistics company is handling the provision of all future supplies. Now with your help, it's like an additional weight has been lifted off my shoulders. The knights have been busy spreading the word about our shop over the past few days. So, we should be ready to open once we've finished our final preparations. Okay, let's not keep everyone waiting then. Why don't you take these ingredients and try your hand at brewing a potion? Looks like you finished your potion. Now, all we need to do is put it on display for sale. <laughs> Looks like we're done with all the prep work. Why don't we take a short break over there while we wait for customers to arrive? like everything is going well. You've already sold your first batch of potions. Not a bad start at all. As for what potions you should brew next, we'll need to consult the news from the market. That means staying up to date on the latest news and trends to try and anticipate people's needs. It's an essential skill when it comes to business. Uh, that sounds kinda hard. <laughs> Don't worry. I already took it upon myself to compile all the latest news on the market for you. What do you think? Have any ideas on the kinds of potions you should sell next? Go ahead and try to cultivate some herbs then. Bioalchemical processing can infuse herbs with different effects and properties. Using different herbs in the brewing process will, in turn, alter the effects of the potion. There's a whole bunch of combinations to try. All right, cutie. Why don't you get started? Seems like you've gotten the hang of the cultivation side of things. Ah, I should probably mention, a knight from the logistics company has arrived. She'll be the one handling the provision of all future supplies. You should go have a chat with her in a little bit. And after that, it'll be your time to shine. Naturally, it was to ensure my cuties had all the business and alchemy knowledge they needed to succeed. Okay, I'll be rooting for you. Good luck! Uh, I'm 
I knew this would happen. Greetings, honorary knight. Greetings, Paimon. My name is Freda. I'm a knight from the logistics company. It's such an honor to meet the famous traveler and his loyal attendant. Wow, Paimon's fame is really spreading across the land! <laughs> um, one small correction, though. Paimon's his companion, not his attendant. <sighs> My apologies. I guess I got a bit carried away after hearing all about your exploits. It's just like something out of a novel. You're practically legends at this point. I'm, I'm a bit jealous, actually. I'd love to wander the land in search of adventure like one of those knights you read about in stories. <sighs> Seems like a really... F yeah, that's what I'm hoping, at least. <laughs> anyway, we've got some prep work to wrap up, right? My orders from the acting grandmaster are to support your business in any way that I can. If there's anything you need, just let me know. You're in luck! I just got a new batch of provisions. Please, take a look and see if anything catches your eye. What's up? It's been a while. Whoa, Beto and Yua! Wait, you two know each other? <laughs> well, we haven't known each other long, but we hit it off right away. Guess it was meant to be. I met Captain Beto at Dornman Port. She was here in Mondstadt to buy some supplies, and I offered to accompany her around the area. Wow, you were taking the initiative in making friends? Did I not hear that right? <clears throat> Given that the two of us just met, I wouldn't go so far as to call us friends just yet. I was just being uh, hospitable, as is expected of a knight. Huh? Oh, I thought we were getting along pretty well. You're telling me you were just being polite? Oh, no, I, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I just thought that after my blunder earlier, you probably wouldn't want to be my friend. Come on, it was just a little misunderstanding, that's all. You're still beating yourself up about that? Honestly, I'd forgotten all about it. Misunderstanding? What happened? Well, a few days ago, after docking at Dornman Port, I thought I'd treat the crew to some time at the tavern to blow off some steam. While we were there, an argument broke out between a couple of drunk guys. Things looked like they were about to get physical, so I intervened to try and break it up. I tried talking to them, but they were in the mood for a fight, and my words fell on deaf ears. So I had to resort to uh, a more hands-on way of getting them to calm down. Eula was patrolling the area while all this was going down, and when she walked in, oh, it wasn't a pretty sight. I should probably take it from here. Recently, we've intercepted a string of attempts to smuggle goods through Dornman Port, so we decided to step up our patrols in the area. On my rounds that day, I noticed a group of people I'd never seen before. And they were sailors. My suspicions were raised, so I asked our captain to show a valid entry permit for the port. Captain Beto said she didn't have the entry permit on her person, and told me to check with the port authorities myself. 
I insisted that she should accompany me there, and, well, you can see how things could get heated in a situation like that. Hey, you were, you were just doing your duty. It was my fault, really. I should have watched my tone, but I had a few too many, and anyway, it all worked out in the end. I took Eula back to my ship, showed her my documents, and that was that. Misunderstanding resolved. I felt bad, though, so I told her I'd treat her to a drink when we got back to the tavern. Once we got to talking, we really hit it off. We sat there chatting until the tavern was about to close. Captain Beto mentioned that she wanted to have a look around the city the next day. I was also planning to head back to headquarters to submit some paperwork, so we decided to go together. Ah, I meant to say earlier. Drop the captain and just call me Beto. There's no need for formalities between friends. Oh, yes, of course. <clears throat> Pardon me for being so formal. Anyway, as for why we're here, I heard about your shop when I got back to headquarters, and after discussing it with Beto, we decided to stop by and say hello. Oh, that's right. Plus, I'm curious to see what the deal is with these Mondstadt potions you've been brewing up. Eh, could do. Although, I don't have any health issues, and my ship's already stocked with everything I could need out on the ocean. <sighs> Let me think. Oh, do you have a potion that helps with getting to sleep? Are you having trouble sleeping, Beto? No, not me. The minute my head hits the pillow, it's lights out till the next morning. It's just that uh, I have this friend. She doesn't lack for anything, and she eats right and drinks right, but she just doesn't sleep well. I don't know if it's a case of affluenza, or if she just has too many things on her mind. Wait, this friend you're talking about, you must mean... Yep. She's no stranger to rare and precious treasures, but I'd wager that to her, the chance to relax and get a good night's sleep is rarer than any treasure in her collection. We'll get started on that order for you right away! Great! Thanks for the help. How's the potion making going? Hope you didn't run into too much trouble. Perfect. Looks like my gift is all set. Is it time for your return journey then? If you're heading back to Dornman Port, I'd be happy to accompany you. Yeah, I think I've gotten my fill of sightseeing, so it's probably time I headed back. Don't want to keep my crew waiting. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you some other time. Oh, and good luck with your business. On behalf of the Reconnaissance Company, I'd like to express my gratitude to you as well. A little bit lightheaded. 
We've got a lot of orders. Paimon's not sure we can fill them all on our own. Uh, maybe we should hire some help. Taking a break, cuties? I was just looking at the sales data, and it seems like you two have quite the talent for business. The potions seem to be flying off the shelves. Oh, Lisa! Perfect timing. We were just talking about how we could use some help around the shop. Oh, are the orders piling up already? Having trouble keeping up? Yep, we're officially swamped. Paimon never thought we'd get this many customers. Well, I can't say I'm surprised by the success. I was actually anticipating this kind of response. While you two were busy with the shop, I was talking with Freda about some possible ways to make the business more efficient. After observing your work, I made note of several improvements we can make to the brewing, cultivation, and sales aspects of the business. Wait, so you've been doing things behind the scenes this whole time? Paimon kind of thought you were just slacking off. <laughs> hey now, I'm actually pretty reliable when it counts. So how are we supposed to put those improvements in action? Well, I discussed things over with Freda, and the two of us came up with a plan. I'll let her give you the details, though. Why don't you go and find her? Traveler! Paimon, hello! Is there something I can help you with? Well, we've been a bit swamped lately, so Lisa recommended we find some ways to increase our efficiency. Uh, yes, I've discussed that with her as well. Currently, there are three areas you can improve. Brewing, cultivation, and sales. Increasing your efficiency in these areas will make it much easier to run your business. Wow, that sounds just like what we need! Let's give it a try, Traveler! Looks like... all the preparations needed for this upgrade have been made. Please, try it out. What? <laughs> 
Greetings, Traveler Paimon and Lisa. Sucrose! It's been a while since the last time we saw you! On the way here, I overheard quite a few people talking about alchemical potions. At first, I was worried something might have gone wrong with the herbs. But judging by the way people were talking, it seems like they were pretty pleased with the results. <laughs> Sucrose, your bioalchemical expertise was exactly what we needed for potion making. Yeah, we've been able to make potions with all sorts of different effects! You mastered potion making in such a short amount of time? I guess that's expected for someone of your talent, Traveler. I wouldn't be surprised if he became a potion master one day. Still... If you manage to master potion making in such a short amount of time, we should be able to start teaching the public about it as well. Wait, was that also a part of Jean's plan? Yep. It's something she and Mr. Albedo talked about. As I understand it, the goal was not just to create and sell potions, but also to teach the principles and practices of alchemy to the people. Thanks to your shop, the public's understanding of alchemical potions has increased quite a bit. Perhaps, one day, they'll even be able to make simple potions themselves. Hmm... Without the proper training, though, those potions could be dangerous to use. You're right. With Lisa there to mentor you, Traveler, we could rest assured that nothing would go wrong during the potion-making process. However, when it comes to the general public, we have to think of a way to ensure that any resulting potions would be safe to use. So, Mr. Albedo is planning to establish a set of criteria to evaluate various levels of potion-making ability. People will have to pass the exam that corresponds to their level of proficiency before being allowed to brew their own potions. Let me guess, you would like us to also take part in this exam? Yes, although it would probably be more accurate to say that we would like you to help us finalize the contents of the exam. In order to ensure a proper level of difficulty, we need to first collect the relevant data. That's where our mock exam comes in. If you could take it, Traveler, your results would serve as a very important reference for us. You will, of course, be compensated for your efforts. <laughs> what a great idea! I must admit, I'm very interested to see how much my cutie's alchemy skills have improved. Wonderful! Then, let me explain a little bit about how the exam works. The exam has four levels. Beginner, Intermediate, Advanced, and Expert. To pass, all you need to do is brew a potion within the time limit that satisfies the main objective. Satisfying additional objectives will earn you extra rewards. Okay, all of this is starting to sound pretty official. Paimon's nervous all of a sudden. Just do what you normally do and you should be fine. If you don't pass the first time around, you can always retake the exam. So, no need to put too much pressure on yourselves. Oh, retakes are allowed! Whew, that's a relief. Yep, just let me know when you're ready. Hmm. Your movements are quite practiced, and your potion meets the requirements as well. Congratulations on passing the beginner exam! Hmm, that was a piece of cake! Wow, I really thought it would be more difficult for someone so new to potion making. Alright, I believe I've collected all the necessary feedback. Looks like we'll have to make some adjustments to the level of difficulty for the actual exam. I'm gonna head back to the lab now. See you later, Traveler and Paimon.
Tantas tenas de 